Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Love's Math Classroom. Today, we're going to talk about cubic equations and how to solve them. For example, a question in the exam might ask you to solve this. Solve x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals to 0. I'm going to cover the steps on how to write proper working for this. Now, step 1, you should define your fx. So I should let fx be this expression on the left without the zero. Okay. Next, I'm going to think of the factors that will give me the constant term. Here, the constant term is 6. And we can... Factorize 6 into 1 times 6, or 2 times 3. And, of course, negative 1 times negative 6, and negative 2 times negative 3. So, we're going to try to divide them by one of these factors here. Okay? I'm going to try... Mm, x minus 2 as the divisor. Um, if I choose x minus 2, I've got to substitute 2 as my x value. Okay, so I'm going to write my substitution. So I'll have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. And my x value is now 2. 2, 2, 2. If I work them out slowly, I'll get this. Um, 2. Did you get this? And you should get 0. When you're able to find an x value that gives you 0, you can use factor theorem. So you say, by factor theorem, x minus 2 is a factor of fx. Okay? And after this, we do a long division. Okay, let's look at the first term, x cubed. When I divide it by x minus 2, I will need x squared. So now I start a bracket. x squared times x minus 2, I'll write it in my bracket. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times minus 2 is minus 2x squared. I close my bracket and I subtract this from what's above. So x cubed minus x cubed is nothing. 2x squared minus negative 2x squared will give me um, 2x squared plus 2x squared, actually, because negative times negative is positive. So I will end up with 4x squared. Now I bring down this minus 5 and continue to do my division. So I look at this term now. 4x squared divided by x minus 2. I will need a coefficient of 4 um, plus, sorry, 4. And to make up the x square from the x, I need x. So 4x times x is 4x square. 4x times minus 2 is minus 8x. Again, we put that in a bracket and subtract. 4x square minus 4x square is nothing. 
minus 5x minus negative 8x will give us a positive 3x. I bring down the minus 6 again, and now I need a 3. So 3 times x minus 2 is 3x minus 6. I subtract that, I will get 0. Now you must get 0 because this is already proven to be a factor. Anything that's a factor of fx will divide fx exactly and leave no remainder. Okay? Now we have this long division. It's very good. We can proceed. So the question wants us to solve fx equals to 0. Okay, let's remind you. The question says solve. Can you see that? Yeah, solve this. And the left hand side, we have let it to be fx. So now solve fx equals 0. Let me come back. So what's fx? After we have seen the long division, you can take x minus 2 and the quotient x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. I can continue to factorize this into x minus 2, x plus 1, x plus 3 equals to 0. Okay. And then the individual brackets will be equals to 0. So x equals to 2 or x equals to minus 1 for this. And sorry, or x equals to minus 3. If I want it perfect, I will arrange in ascending order. So x equals to minus 3, minus 1 or 2. This is my final answer. I will underline it. Okay. Let's go through the steps again. The steps that you need to write. Go back to the top. First, the question wants us to solve a cubic equation. Check that it's already in order. If not, arrange it in order of the powers. Okay, first step. I will add fx. Okay, then I'm going to look at the last number, which is the constant, and try all the factors. Okay, using my remainder theorem or factor theorem, I should try x minus the factor. Okay, if I try with the calculator, this is step two. Or by working it out, I realize that if I substitute 2, it will get me 0. So I would say, using factor theorem, that x minus 2 will be a factor of fx. And if this is a factor, it will divide exactly fx. Or you can say fx is exactly divisible by x minus 2. So I set up a long division. Writing every term in order. If there's um, a missing term, we will write coefficient 0. But in this case, it's fine. So, uh, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 divided by x minus 2. You do your long division and end up having 0. That would be very good. Long division is our step 4. Then, on step 5, we remind ourselves of what the question wants us to solve, that is fx equals to 0. Using my long division, I will write the divisor, x minus 2, first. And I'll write the quotient, next, is equals to 0. If possible, I will try to factorize the quadratic. Quadratic means degree 2, or highest power is 2, into linear factors again. So when I have three linear factors equals to zero, they are each equals to zero because anything times zero will give you zero. So when x minus two is zero, you'll get x equals to two. X plus one equals to zero, you'll get x equals to minus one. And the same, you'll get x minus three. And then finally, I conclude my answers by writing them in ascending order and I underline it. 
Okay, so solving a cubic equation requires you to write six steps for your working to be proper.